Namaskar. My name is Gaurish Burkar. And today we are going to learn about the Katapayadi Sankhya or Katapayadi system, which is used in Sanskrit to represent numbers in stanzas. We are learning this because uh, we will use this in interpretation of Brahad Jataka in the coming sessions. So if you have good understanding of Katapayadi Sankhya, then it will be easier for us to interpret the stanzas of Brahad Jataka. Okay. So let's start. Katapayadi Sankhya can be understood in a very simple way. The stanza is Kadinava, Tadinava, Padipanchak, Yadyashtak, Kshana, Shunyam. This means uh, letters from K onwards indicate 1 to 9. Letters from T onwards indicate 1 to 9. Letters from P onwards indicate 1 to 5. Letters from Y onwards indicate 1 to 8. Ksha and Na indicate 0. So this is demonstrated in the table below. From K onwards, K, Kh, G, G, N, Ch, Ch, J, J and Y. Y is not mentioned in the stanza. However, that also indicates 0. So then the next is ta tadinava. So ta tha da da na ta tha da da na. They already mentioned that. That means na means zero. So na is zero. Then padi panchak. So pa onwards. Pa fa ba ba ma, and it indicates one two three four five and yara lava sha sha saha. Uh, that is 1 to 8 actually up to H. I have also given the uh, as 9 because those are the 9 letters. And Ksha as mentioned in the stanza is 0. So this is how the Kadinava, Tadinava, Padipancha, Yadyashtaka, Kshana, Shunyam works. Now let's understand this with an example to see how to use it. Okay. Here is an example of the Katapayadi Sankhya. The stanza is Gopi Bhagya Madhuvrata Shrungi Shodadi Sandhika. Kala jivita khatava gala hala rasandhara. Now, if you understand the meaning of this stanza, it says, O Lord, immersed with the yogurt of the milk from the milk makers, O Savior of the fallen, O Master, please protect me. That is exactly what is the meaning of this particular stanza is. This is a prayer to Lord Krishna. You would have understood it by now. Right? However, if we interpret this using the Katapayadi Sankhya, then what uh, it indicates is given in the table below. So, I'll just uh, demonstrate a little bit and then we will see what that number is. So, Ga means 3. Pa means 1. Because ka is, ga is ka, ka, ga. So 3. Pa is padipanchak. So pa is 1. Then ba is 4 because pa <coughs> is 1. So ba is 4. Ya is 1 because yadyashtaka. And ma is 5. Pa, pa, ba, ba, ma. So ba is 4 because pa, pa, ba, ba. And ma is 5 because pa, pa, ba, ba, ma. Okay. So, this is how all the sounds, all the letters are interpreted. And that gives us a long number. And that number is 
Now, if we place a decimal after three, then this is the number, which is the value of pi. In this whole number, only the last digit is incorrect. This actually gives us the number up to 31 decimals. And it's a very easy way to remember the whole number rather than reciting that particular number. You can just recite the shloka and when you interpret, you would get the value of pi and in a pretty accurate way. The last digit, if you calculate the value of pi, comes out to be 5. However, in this stanza, it has been given as 2. So that's the only incorrect digit. The rest, all the digits or the entire number is correct. Okay. So this is how Katapayadi system is applied to stanzas to represent the numbers. This is required. There is a need because every stanza has a meter or the vrutta. If we write a sentence, then that's okay. However, when we have a meter, we need, if we want to represent the numbers, then there are various ways to represent the numbers in, because we want to maintain the meter of the stanza. And one of that is Katapayadi Sankhya. Okay. Hope you like this particular video. If you uh, want to know or listen to more videos, you may subscribe. Thank you.